Well, you know, we don't know how bad the ice will be tomorrow morning, but it's not likely to top the major storm that rocked Grundy County 28 years ago. Yeah, it was a big one. It was one of the worst natural disasters to ever hit the plateau. So we're going to take you back to January of 1985 from our archives. For the casual observer just passing through Grundy County today, the iced over trees were spectacular. But for residents of that county, it spelled trouble. Downed trees, downed power and telephone lines, all meaning no electricity to more than half of the county. That tree right there, the limb just got through breaking out of it just a minute ago. That big old tree right there, the limbs are all hanging in it. It's dangerous. Bersheba Springs resident Clay Whitman and his 74-year-old mother have had no electricity since the storm struck early Friday morning. A wood heater has been their lifesaver, providing both a means to cook and a means to stay warm. We, we, we ain't never, you know, we've seen some rough stuff, you know, a few tornadoes and stuff like that, but we ain't ever seen nothing like that. Has there been anything good that's come out of it? Hey, yeah, we've learned to, to prepare better, I guess, or something like that, but... That's about the only good thing I know is coming out of it. How in the world do you prepare, though, for something like this? You don't. You might put up an extra can of beans or something like that to help you out. But people aren't the only ones having problems because of the recent severe weather. These chickens, 11,000 of them, haven't had any food since Friday. The chicken feeder you see is run by electricity, and it was only yesterday that they got water. We really need to get them feed today. Uh, They've been without about as long as they can stand it. It's true the thaw is on in Grundy County, but residents say it'll be a while before they recover from this storm. The power should be restored to most of the county by the end of the week, but it'll take years for nature to put back what it took away. We're going to take the major characters in the novel. Grundy County students are back in class after a record 17-day absence due to weather-related problems. And everyone's still sort of restless, I guess, and the teachers, I think, are too. We have people now who do not have power uh, in the area. Uh, we have steel back roads, uh, which are still slippery, and uh, it was a tough decision to, to make to have to go to school today. The closure was, in fact, a financial blessing in disguise. The seven school system has a $90,000 deficit, and before the cold snap, the school board had voted to send the county's 3,000 students home for one week to save money. But part of that would be negated uh, money that we saved by, you know, pipes that had bursted and so forth. But we do have a savings in gasoline and, and to some extent, uh, uh, heating area. Now that was from 1985. Now here's the good news. I just talked to Megan White. She says it's not going to be anything like that tomorrow. So that Thank is some goodness. good news. Yeah, that's.